If we wanted to subtract a small binary number from a larger binary number, the process would be fairly straightforward and very similar to subtraction in decimal. We would simply go column by column and compute the result. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. And now, 0 minus 1 requires us to borrow a digit from the adjacent column. Therefore, this column has a 0 in it, so that this can be 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. Now, we're left with a 0 here, and need to borrow yet again, except the adjacent column does not have a 1 for us to borrow. So we have to borrow one column over yet again. This 1 is replaced with a 0, putting a 2 here. Now this column only needs to borrow a 1 to perform its subtraction. So this will become a 1, and this 1, 0 will become a 2, and we can subtract 1 from 2 to get 1. In this column now, 1 minus 0 is 1, and we have 0 minus 1, which requires another borrow. This 1 becomes a 0. This 0 is actually a 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, and we have a final result of 111100 in binary. Now we can confirm the correctness of this calculation by adding these two numbers and making sure that we get our original result back, which I will do right now. 101110 binary plus 111100 in binary. And quickly adding this up, I get 0 here, 1 here. I add these two and get 2, which requires me to put a 0 here and a 1 in this column. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, which is too big to be represented by a single digit in binary. So one of those goes here, and the 2 is carried over to the next column. Because we're one column over, the 2 is represented by a 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2 again. So I put a 0 here and a 1 there. And finally, 1, 2, 3 results in a 1 here and a 1, one column over. And this result is indeed the same, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, is the original number that was here. So this subtraction works. However, you may want to know what happens if we subtract a larger number from a smaller number. Now, of course, this should be a negative result. For example, if I had 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 in binary and subtracted this number 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 all I've done is flip these two numbers down here. Now because these are the same numbers and we've already performed this calculation I know the result will simply be the negative of this result. So it will be negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 in base 2. And this is essentially how you would subtract a larger number from a smaller number, is you would perform the subtraction in opposite order and simply put a negative sign in front of the result that you would get. However, in sign magnitude representation, we don't have a minus sign. So let's look at how this problem would look like in an 8-bit computer. 
was signed magnitude representation. Now fortunately this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bit number and this is a 6 bit number. That means in our 8 bit computer there is a space to the left for us to have signed bits when needed. Now these are both positive numbers so what we want to compute is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 minus 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This number is simply this number inside magnitude. And this number is simply this number inside magnitude representation. So the computer just sees a sequence of bits. And then the arithmetic logic unit commands it to subtract this value from this value. Now because we are using side magnitude representation, the computer has to perform the process that we would. It would figure out which one of these is larger, swap them, having 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And then, because they're both positive, it would ignore the sign bit and perform the subtraction to get the answer 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 which it would then add a negative sign to because it knew originally that the larger number was on the bottom, which would ultimately yield a negative result with a 1 here. So this would be the side magnitude representation of this number, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now if that seemed complicated, it's because it is. And in fact, it is unnecessarily complicated. So much so that there is a better means of performing this kind of calculation via a different negative number representation, which we will learn about in the next module.